Samsung's 95B TV line demonstrates how incredible colors can be on a cutting-edge OLED panel with quantum dot technology, but those same dots throw off what should otherwise be perfectly dark black levels. Samsung has pushed LED backlit LCD TV with quantum dots for years while largely ignored organic light emitting diode, OLED tech, but now, the company has combined the two to create the visually stunning 95B TV line. This new entry notably offers the highest peak brightness we've seen from an OLED model, complemented by top-notch color performance. However, the use of quantum dots on an OLED panel makes it much more complicated to evaluate what should be perfect black levels. And at $2,999.99 for the 65-inch model we tested, it's more expensive than the editor's choice winning LG C2 Evo OLED TV, $2,499.99 for a 65-inch model, which offers colors that are nearly as good while delivering the deep black levels we expect from OLED. Slim Panel, Smart Remote As both an OLED TV and a Samsung flagship model, this 95B is unsurprisingly sleek and attractive. A slim black border, just a quarter inch in thickness frames the active screen and a thin band of gray metal runs along the edges. The only bezel, a narrow strip of slightly darker metallic material, outlines the bottom edge, while small outcroppings in the middle and near the lower right corner respectively house the TV far field microphone and infrared sensor. This 95B sits on a 14 inch wide rectangular metal base, though you can also mount it on a wall. The panel is incredibly thin in most places, approximately a quarter inch in depth the thickest part is a gray plastic enclosure on the back that houses all of the electronics and physical connections. Two HDMI ports, one ER, two USB ports face right on the right side, while two more HDMI ports, an Ethernet port, an optical audio output, a 3.5mm EX link port, and an antenna or cable connection face down. The package includes a Samsung Eco Remote, a simple, rectangular dark gray wand with some energy-friendly features. It has a built-in rechargeable battery that you can power via the USB-C port on the bottom. Or with sunlight, solar panels are on the, on the front. A large, circular navigation pad sits near the top. Power, voice, multi-view, and settings buttons, along with a pinhole microphone, are above it. Menu buttons, volume and channel rockers, and dedicated service buttons for Amazon Prime Video. Disney Plus, Netflix, and Samsung TV Plus are below the pad. Samsung's Tizen-based smart TV platform remains its biggest obstacle to providing a smooth user experience. The main problem is the menu design. For example, it's too difficult to access different settings once you stray from the very simple presets that pop up when you press the menu button. Even switching between inputs feels slow and clunky. It's just an awkward experience compared with every other mainstream smart TV platform. That said, it's full of features, unlocks apps for most major streaming services, and supports Apple AirPlay too, but not Chromecast. This 95B's far-field microphone even makes hands-free voice control via Amazon Alexa, Google Assistant, or Samsung's Bixby possible. The Samsung's 95B is a 4K OLED TV with a 120Hz. It supports high dynamic range, HDR content in HDR10, HDR10+, and hybrid log gamma. Samsung continues to eschew Dolby Vision compatibility, despite supporting Dolby Atmos for audio. This 95B also has an ITS C3.0 tuner for high definition and 4K TV. We test TV using a Klein K80 colorimeter, a Muraday OSI XG signal generator, and Porter Displays Common Software. Fundamentally, OLED TV should have infinite contrast because the technology enables each pixel to turn on and off as well as bright or dim, thus resulting in perfect black levels. However, that's not the case with this 95B because it uses quantum dots to improve color. The panel's black levels don't look completely black in most situations. Although portions of the screen indeed emit no light in an isolated environment, the quantum dot layer seems to react to even the slightest bit of ambient light, such as from other parts of the screen itself or even reflections from the glass part of the panel. The dark parts of the screen still look very dark, but not to the level we expect with OLED panels. Still, we can't actually measure the value of the black level here because it's technically completely dark when not in the presence of light. Feature-wise, this 95B should be very appealing to gamers. The 120 HE TV supports variable refresh rates via MD FreeSync Premium. Plus it offers an auto low latency mode. It also has a handy gaming specific control panel and game mode that shows the current refresh rate and any VRR features in use. However, 
It lacks the LG C2's NVIDIA G-Sync compatible mode. The LG model supports FreeSync Premium as well. Samsung's first attempt at an OLED TV is fantastic, with a few notable caveats. It's the brightest OLED model we've tested and offers excellent color performance. The TV is also exceptionally thin and comes with a clever solar-powered remote and includes useful features such as Apple AirPlay 2. However, the use of quantum dots with an OLED panel results in some unforeseen issues with black levels. They're technically perfect in total light isolation, but are so sensitive to ambient light that they don't look as deep as the levels on the LG C2, which doesn't use quantum dot tech. As such, and because LG WebOS is superior to Samsung's Tizen Smart TV platform, the more affordable LG C2 remains our editor's choice winner for high-end TV. This 95B is still a great effort, however, and offers among the best picture quality on the market. Despite the low light issues, we are going to end this video right away. If you have any query or information to share, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.